Hedge fund operator Robert Mercer is the third most generous Republican donor this cycle and has cut checks for a total of $37 million over the past six years. In fact, this year he gave more to the Koch brothers organization, the Freedom Partners Action Fund, than the Koch brothers themselves. So who is Robert Mercer? Well, Annie Linsky of Bloomberg News profiled him in a recent article and joins us now. And Annie, uh, he is not very well known. We know Shettle. Sheldon Adelson, we know the Koch brothers, but how influential has he been and who is this man? Yeah, I mean, it's a great question. He's a brilliant individual. He's um, upended two fields that he worked in. You know, first, he was um, a, a pioneer in the, the field of um, computational linguistics, which is a, a very esoteric field. But um, and, and then he moved to, um, to work for a hedge fund and went on to help build and now lead one of um, the world's most successful hedge funds. Right, so he is a hedge fund operator, and as you say, started off in computer linguistics. Now, why is he going to go from that to being so politically active? What is, it, it, what is in it for him? Why is he so politically active? That's another great question. I mean, it was, it's, it's very difficult to read into the motives behind some of this giving, but he's giving in extremely large amounts, and you just don't see that that often to see. There's just so few people in the country who can give million-dollar checks and do. And, if, you know, one one motive that comes to mind is his fund has been hauled before Congress um, this summer uh, for, over questions um, about how it did how it calculates taxes. And um, the, the questions that Congress was asking was over, you know, they were using a, a method to calculate taxes that saved its investors $6 billion over 14 years. Wow. So that suddenly makes, you know, $8 million in political uh, giving not seem so big. No, it doesn't at all. And by the way, uh, the reason why you're not seeing a lot of pictures of this man, uh, let's roll, guys. Let's just roll one, the one picture that we actually were able to find of him, which is uh, he accepted, I believe, a Hall of Fame award for his work in computer ling uh, linguistics. Uh, we only could find, Annie, one photo of this man uh, on the Internet. And, of course, he declined, I know, to speak for your article uh, and to appear on television as well. So uh, from what we can infer, as you say, there are some issues issues that he's very, uh, you know, that he appears to be passionate about. Are there some candidates that he's very close to and do they even know who he is? You know, it's it's interesting. They, I think they do know who he is. Um, there, are, there are people who are very hesitant to talk because he's a new donor. And on the Republican side, you've seen a lot of the big donors, the real big money donors have died in the last two years. And so he's somebody who nobody wants to offend and, and nobody really wants to be quoted talking about. So people talk to me about him off the record, um, but were very hesitant to say anything on the record. Those who did talk on the record said that he really wants to see the kind like, he is interested in fiscal issues, which I suppose makes sense given the position that he's in. Right. Um, but there's in particular one candidate in Oregon who he's been very close to um, that he's been giving to for years and years. And this candidate has very little chance of winning. But um, it, it's a man, Art Robinson, who's a interesting, he's a scientist, so maybe they have that in common. But hmm. this year you're seeing so much more money in politics, and it's, it's funded by folks like um, Robert Mercer, who are opening their, their checkbooks in ways that they've never, ever done before.